with cows grazing, she would go, she would go out the window, moo, moo. And my father, he would stop the car right off the hood. He was looking, you know, as if there's something wrong with the engine. And I, th I think he was teasing her. You know? <laughs> but either way, it's, it's a cute story. Then there was one, my father, he sold used cars, so he, he always had different cars, you know. So one day, they, they drove in, my, my mom, she needed to stop into the drugstore to get smoky chokes or whatever. And my father, he double parked in front of the store. Then a cop came along and says, no, you can't, you can't park here, you can get a big ticket. So my father was going around the block looking for a parking place. And then when, I, when my mother came out of the store, there was some guy who was parked in that double parked place. And my mother just got in the car, <laughs> she just got in the car, and, and she was just a blah, blah, blah. And then, just, and then she looked up and she said, what, you're not Paul, <laughs> you know? <laughs> So the the guy drove her back. <laughs> so you know, she said, you know, the, the guy figured it was like a quick pickup. He thought he got lucky, you know. <laughs> Isn't that a cute story. Yeah. Oh, she she has a sling. Um, the empty plate club. You were aware of that? That was you know. If we could finish, we had to finish. If we could finish everything on a plate, you know, not leave any leftovers. There was the empty plate club. So I, I really believed it. I thought it was a real thing. So I stuff for myself, you know. Then, then my both my parents would use this. They used that line. Um, you know, you, they, there's children starving in Europe. You know, you know. So I, I couldn't quite see how my stuffing myself was helping the children starving in Europe. But that was one of the lines. But the empty plate club. That'll be a name for a, a rock band, the empty play club. Uh, Bobby Jose, Bobby Duke, Bobby, 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 Bobby Jose. Now, waiting in the wings. Oh man, I might not get this in one tape. It goes like this. Okay. Quack quack. Meow meow. Well, I'm not going to go like this. Your summers keep on turning into winters While you keep on wondering whether you'll see too many more springs Until this old reality show is finally over Remember someone will be waiting in the wings Where love is hovering on the back of your back burner and there is a partial frost on your undivorced apron strings I'll be saving a song in my soul you'll always remember And I'll be singing it while I'm waiting in the wings You know all the world is a stage and we're all players Although nobody knows for sure what tomorrow brings Everyone in their lonesome way is silently praying That someone will be waiting in the wings How oh, someone is always watching over you Whatever you may think you feel or say you do Someone whose love is real and whose word We'll be waiting in the wings when your tribulation's all through All through the night when you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel And you cannot tell for whom the old bell of mortality rings In the distance you almost can hear sweet Gabriel's trumpet Announcing somebody is now waiting in the wings However far from the path you may have wandered Whatever sorrow tomorrow brings With her arms open wide to enfold you Your creator will be celebrating eternal springs Your creator is patiently waiting Eternally recreating Your creator will always be waiting Waiting in the wings However far from the 
the path you may have wandered Whatever sorrow tomorrow brings With her arms open wide to unfold you Your Creator will be celebrating eternal springs Your Creator is patiently waiting Eternally recreating Your Creator will always be waiting Waiting in the wings. Now, you know, having the chart, it was it, it was testing my eyesight <laughs> as well. I, I'd probably do it better without the chart because I, I could just focus on. Can I do it one more time? Yeah, without, bro. Without the chart. Sure, go ahead and see if we could do it any better. But that wasn't too bad, though. No. That was good, man. Yeah, as sure. far as the study goes, it's wonderful. Okay. Okay. That, that was... Let me do another one. This, this is called... Um, Next time you leave me, please walk out backwards so it look like you're still coming in. I wrote that every line, it's all a joke, it's like a punch, it's like as a parody of, of a, a tear-jerking country song. Yeah. But I, but I do it really straight, and I, I didn't realize how, you know, and it's a, like a good, a good drinking song will get you drunk even if, even, even if without any booze, you know. And, and a good, uh, a good ganja song will get you high without any ganja, you know. So I've done both. Yeah. A high Street, I have it on a, a YouTube, and I use Peter Max. Life is a higher high when you live on High Street. So let's try this. Um, next time you leave me, please walk out backwards so it looks like you're still coming in. Sad, you know? Now, it's the story of my life. Now, now, okay, I think I got it. You go here, you go here, and you go here. Oh, and I use my F horn. My F and my F and heart. <laughs> no, right here. Okay. Okay. Voila, voila, voila.